Hey guys, this is Mangi from Rock Paper Copy and in this video I'm going to show you exactly how to add related products to your product page in Shopify. So why do you need related products? So if someone browses your website in and they click on your product page, you want to send them to other products to see um, different items in your store and this is how you keep them browsing for longer and this is how you make them buy even more or to see more in your collection so the worst thing you can do is to ask them to click back and forth and back and forth uh, back to your collection and to another product because this is just too much work this is completely um, unacceptable in 2018 where the user experience is not only important for your visitor but also important for your Google rank. So if you want to make your website user-friendly, if you want to keep your visitors for longer, add related products. So how to do it? First of all go to your Shopify admin area and click on um, online store and click on the themes so here we are and now um, in your new tab go to google and search for very very easy guide um, how to add related products on shopify so this link, I recently visited it, is the one of, uh, from, is the first on the top from the Shopify um, guide. So click on it. The link will be in the video description, so make sure to check it out. So how to add products, depending on which theme you've got, whether sectioned or non-sectioned. I'm never sure which one I'm using, so I'm going to check non-sectioned and see if it looks any similar to the one that, the theme that I've got. Yes, so, okay, this is the step. From your Shopify admin, go to online store themes. So we have done it. Find the theme you want to edit and then click actions, edit code. So which one we've got? We've got minimal. Uh, minimal you can edit another one for example this one or this one and then if you work on the one that is not published obviously you do it here if you work on the theme that is already published on a website you click on the main one and then click on edit code this takes you to the place where you can edit your HTML code of any of the content of your website now in the snippet directory click add new snippet is this uh, already the stuff that we need because i know this tab is a little further okay i'm going to click on section themed okay i think Okay, depending if our template has got sections. Templates, yeah, it does have sections. Okay, so let's do the section theme. So if your template doesn't have sections, your, um, your guide's a little bit shorter. So okay, let's do it from the top. Online store themes, actions, edit code, we've done this so far in the templates directory, click product liquid. This is, this is template directory, let's search for product liquid, which is this one, let's click on it, and here it is. Look for this line of liquid code, section product template, section product template, perfect. Create a new line below it and then paste in the following code. So I'm going to copy this one, add a new line below and paste this one. Then obviously click save. In a sections directory, click add new section. So I'm going to click save. So I'm going to minimize the templates, go to sections and click on add new section. Add new section, how are going to name it? Create a new section, name your new section related products. So I'm going to copy this again. 
related products, create section. And we'll go into to the product liquid to close this one, this one, go to section, open our new section related product. So it's going to open a new tab, which is perfect. Delete all of the default code in the new section file so that the file is empty. In this tab, you will paste some code into your related product section. We'll design on a theme. So I know that our theme is minimal. So we haven't got any of those ones. So other Shopify themes. So I'm going to check the code for other Shopify themes. So I'm going to select all, which is Command A on Mac. Command C to copy and then go back. Okay, they said remove all the current uh, code from this section, paste the new code and click save. Okay, perfect. I'm going to go back. Uh, additional edit for boundless, enable the recommended product section now. So we have to enable it. It is ready, but it is not active in our stuff. So we have to add it. Go to the theme editor. So it means go back to themes. In the theme editor panel on the left of the screen, you will see the latest product stuff. So we have to edit the theme by going back to our admin area. Click on the themes and then customize. And then in the next step, we're going to go to our product template, uh, which I'm not sure if we've got a theme setting sections. Okay, let's check it. Theme editor, navigate to a product page by clicking any product in a theme preview. Okay, so this is theme preview. We have to click on any product which obviously our theme isn't ready yet. So click on the product. Okay, so this is just a collection. How do I find a product? Oh dear, I haven't got a product yet. Okay, I'll have to go back and quickly add a product, which I was sure that I already have. Okay, product title for some reason. It is not added to any collection because it is here. So I'm going to add to the collection and then I will be able to view it. Collection title one, okay. A little bit of diverse way of doing it, but let's do it again. So customize, go to um, admin area, click on customize. Then I'm going to check the product okay it was in collection one right product title good so pro related products show related products so you have to enable this and then you can specify whether a three or four i like to three um i haven't got any more products in the store but those related products will be displayed in this area then obviously click save and this is how you enable this element and this is how you add related products so i hope you found this video useful sorry for messing it a little bit but i um, you can replay it from the beginning and once you get more practice with working um, or um, finding uh, all the necessary uh, sections in your store you will have a better idea where to find those elements so again this was maggie for you from rock paper copy and if you would like to learn more about how to set up your shopify store how to customize it make sure to subscribe to my youtube channel if you have any questions regarding this particular video please leave them in the comment section below thank you so much for your time Bye bye